Jana is a small YouTuber. He has around 300 subs. Over the course of his fairly long career, he's made a lot of different kinds of videos. He started with Minecraft animations, did some let's play. Exactly one year ago, on the 11th of May 2019, probably one of the biggest events in my channel's history has happened. As randomly, in the middle of the day, my channel was just bombarded with brand new subscribers out of nowhere. And I quickly learned it's because a YouTuber called Big Joel made a video talking about me and about small YouTube culture. It was something he mentioned to me that he's gonna make months before it happened and I just completely forgot about it and before I knew it it was just the biggest most surprising best and worst thing that could happen to my channel and the past year has been by far the craziest year for the channel ever in in it's almost seven long years at this point almost seven years in August it's been by far the, the most crazy time however it still feels like nothing has changed Back when the video first dropped and all I did was just a simple video kind of masquerading like this subscriber special for whatever my amount of subscribers was at that time of day, I believe it was 600, it was going up insanely fast. I just couldn't really care about anything else. I didn't mind the things, I didn't fully agree with it in the video, I, I didn't mind the reactions of the people who really disliked me to it, like Hybrid Sue, I just... I just couldn't care because I thought that this was it. That this was the thing I've been waiting for for so long. In the span of just a few days, I've gained about three times the amount of subscribers I've gained from my own work and time and effort that I spent for the past, I think it was about five years at that point, working away on my channel. So that was both amazing but also kind of eye-opening, seeing that all those years of work only, ac only accumulated to 300 subscribers or so, while just this one video made everything just explode like that, and I was ecstatic. I thought that was that was the finally start of something great. Another reason why I was just so ignoring everything as I was going on and just so really happy about it was the fact that it's also the first response video to me from like quite a few response videos that were already around at that time, well, that video was the first to actually criticize the other side of this whole drama or whatever you want to call it. And that was so refreshing to me. And I also and I and I also finally hoped that we a start of something new and special that people would finally stop not glorifying but acting like people on that other side are the ones in the right. And that, there were, and that someone was finally criticizing their behavior. Because for me, that was one of the biggest pains back there. I just couldn't understand why everyone was turning a blind eye to all the atrocious behavior that they were displaying. I was like, it just felt awful. It just really felt like pretty much everyone was against me. That like everyone was ignoring all that they've been doing and actually continue to do to this very day. Because one thing the video definitely didn't help with is stopping the drama. In fact, it in itself had like even a response video to it from another YouTuber disagreeing with things that Big Joe said and defending a uh, hybrid seal, so basically just trying to return to that status quo of their side just being unchallenged. But that I didn't mind. Back then it was all about that it, my channel is finally growing, this is finally my time, all those years of hard work have finally paid off, but then soon after I have started to notice something. Soon after I uploaded another video, it maybe got a, a 20th, if not less, of the views that some of my previous videos did during that big Joel high. And then the video after that, and the video after that, things were like returning to normal, which I just like couldn't understand why that was happening. And before I knew it, I found myself asking the same questions, being stuck on the same issues, having the same problems in my statistics on my YouTube channel of just things not really matching up. Before I knew it, I was back to square one. And that may have been one of the most like, painful feelings I have felt in a long time. Because I just couldn't understand why. Was this exposure, thanks to the video, just never meant to help my channel? Was the audience just too different and they just didn't really care about my content and just came in to like support my channel? Or was it all my fault? Maybe in some alternative universe I could have used that boost to properly grow my channel onwards, but I just somehow couldn't. 
and seeing how I also haven't been able to like, grow my channel for so many years beforehand just made me doubt myself so much more. It was definitely an unpleasant time because I just didn't exactly know why I was back to square one. Literally, within a few videos after it happened, I was just still stuck with the same issues, still asking the same questions, and it was like, why? I just couldn't understand why why it happened. So have things really not changed? And am I still back to where I was a year ago? Well, definitely not. My channel has grown. I I have gotten plenty of actually proper organic subscribers since then, like not and not just people coming in from the Big Joel video. And my channel got recently monetized, which has been amazing and it has just been such a wild ride but that still doesn't mean that but sadly despite all of that my channel still isn't really growing like it's supposed to it's still for some it's it's still not growing and the issue is that still no one knows why and like i've been doing before the big joe video i've been asking whether i could and still like nothing, no one can seem to find an answer. And as I become more desperate for those answers, even like spending literally hundreds of pounds on a trip down to VidCon London back in February, just to try and find out what's wrong and still not getting anywhere closer. Maybe it's just time is the issue. Maybe all the pieces are just there and I just have to wait and continually make uh, content. But despite all the growth on my channel, the past year has also probably been one most disheartening as I just become more and more obsessed with trying to fix it. Wait, with like the first thing I do whenever I wake up is seeing how many views my video has, just spending hours on end trying to look for all the uh, statistics and analytics, trying to see what is wrong, going to whatever Discord subreddits and whatever else I'm not banned and trying to get help. And all that time, I still feel like I'm get not getting any closer. But, uh, but rather further away as I'm constantly being denied that help more and more. In fact, just today morning, I was once again banned from a Discord server. In fact, the third time I was banned from the same one, which is a TubeBuddy server. And one thing I still hate is how, despite all of, all of the videos I've done on topic, and despite all of the ridiculous videos people, are, people who are against me have put out, people still somehow believe them and fall for it. One very disheartening thing recently is, doing is, is how a YouTuber I recently did like this giant long interview with on their channel also starting to dislike me despite me hoping that that interview would have, have been this way for me to redeem myself to him. So instead of growth I just get shunned, I just get dismissed, I just get treated like a lunatic no one should listen to or attempt to help. And I guess this is a perfect time for me to thank all the people who across like the last year or so have been actually sending me screenshots from servers I'm banning just showing exactly what kind of feelings they have there towards me. One of my favorite ones is on the YouTubers Discord server where I'm pretty much treated like an urban legend. And if people have any more doubts on who exactly is the villain and who the victim is here, just look at some of these screenshots from the Discord server. I'm treated like some urban legend there. It's, it's almost amazing, but also still very just disheartening that despite all I've been trying to do for my channel, all I get is just this kind of treatment. But I guess now it's probably time to actually address the whole Big Joel video because it's something that, well, like I said, back then I just didn't want to criticize because I was still just in awe of the entire thing. So I just didn't really have the heart or really the time to like actually go in, analyze it, talk about my full feelings. Not only did I feel like I was like owned Big Joel one for making it, and because I just didn't really want to criticize him because of that, but also because back then I thought that it couldn't really do anything wrong because I thought this video was like the savior of my of my whole channel. And again, I was just so happy that someone else was finally criticizing people like Hybrid Sue as well. So I just didn't really have the heart to go in and critique anything about the video, especially also judging by the reactions of the people in that video. Like I'm still amazed. Like that kind of great conversations that are going on in the comments of that video. But I was also kind of scared of this brand new audience and how they, and how they even react to me critiquing that video. So I was definitely pretty scared and skeptical of doing anything that could possibly offend them or make them just like leave my channel. But now it's been a year. Let's talk about my thoughts on the whole Big Joe video because I never really talked much about what I liked, what I didn't like. Back then I just said 
probably said I liked all of it. But looking back, there are probably things I just want to quickly mention. So as you probably guess, one of the main parts I had issues with is this one. Here, Avrana is being rude to people, acting like their input is useless and frivolous, nitpicking every part of it like he's in some kind of debate. One thing that's really interesting about this video is that it really seemed like it's trying to be unbiased, which was which is a definitely a good thing. So that's why it definitely made me think that even in such an unbiased video, which was almost trying to, in some parts, defend my position and then attack the position of people like Albert Steele. So it definitely made me question myself, but the thing is that it still didn't make me come to any better conclusions on why exactly th this whole drama thing could be happening. And it still just seems like it's just misinformation being spread over and over again, and that's kind of the main issue, but because I still don't really see what exactly is wrong with me asking for people to explain their advice or things just being accounted for already because I've been doing it for so long and I think that's a thing many people don't really get. I don't expect people to come in knowing the answers, knowing why this could be happening. And I also don't expect them to know everything about my channel. Like when they say something and it's something that I already do or doesn't apply to my channel, that they don't dislike them for it or dislike them for wasting my time. Because I know they had no way of knowing that that won't really work for me, so, so I can't really be mad for them for that. However, it did make me want to like, at least somehow change how I phrase the sort of things I say. But still, despite that, well, the drama continues. And now more than ever, even after all those changes I did, it still seems like it just fueled by misinformation. Just, just have a look at some of the latest videos about me by people like Tobias. It's just, just insane how wrong they can be. Or even like hopeless speeches or whatever. They're all wrong on so many levels and can be debunked so easily, but people still fall for it. And that kind of still seems to be the main issue. But why exactly is it happening? Like, why are people having such an insane reaction? But I found a comment in Big Joel's um, video that I think sums this up really, really well. It's a, it's, a, it's a comment by a guy called Kenra Boy, and the first comment actually talks about why self-betterment may not be the issue in most people's cases, and if you're wondering why the talk of girlfriends isn't here, it's because it's responding to a comment saying that the my attitude is very similar to the one of incels. But the main comment I really liked from him is the one he said after that, saying this. The thing is, usually ask people for advice when you're exhausted your options. When you do ask for advice, there's a high chance that you'll get advice you already tried. If the person giving advice fails to find a solution to the problem, they get frustrated. When that happens, they either dis disengage and avoid you or attack your character. The more often this that happens, to you with different people, the less patience you have for insults or attacks. You see, making peace with the idea that you're never able to f have a family or simply a spouse, or re replace, in my case, a successful channel, for seemingly no reason, can be an extremely tough pill to swallow. And that may be one of the best summaries of what can be happening here that I've ever seen. It just, when I first read that, it was amazing. It was like, I, it was, I was just confused about why this could be happening. And then this comment, which only has two likes, one of them is mine, just try, made so much sense of the whole situation and it really not only does it sound probable but it sounds but it sums up the whole situation in a way that makes sense and it was really eye-opening to see this comment and i really hope that for me reading it here and giving it that exposure people will hopefully start seeing what is happening here because it just feels like word for word what has been happening to me and i never thought i could, could get so moved reading a single comment before it finally felt like someone understood like someone managed to figure out the secret to why this could be happening it was also interesting because it was left as a reply to a comment comparing my attitude to the attitude of incels like i mentioned before that was very interesting to me because it was something I've seen quite a few people comment about, and I wondered exactly why so many people thought that, despite that not really being the case. Especially since I thought in the video itself, it was explained well, well enough what my situation was, that that wasn't really a thing people could get like confused. Maybe it's that whole 
a run is being rude to people part that like threw people off to the inside conclusion but like i don't really know why because the difference is while your typical you know radical insult doesn't really want to improve themselves blames everything on women and doesn't actually usually seek self-improvement and instead in that you know normal stereotype they want to have the attention of people like feeling sorry for them that's not really the case in my channel and that, I, that's one of the things i kind of wish big joel talked about because i do improve my content i do it all the time i've all the money i've had in the past few years all of it has been going to the channel i've been spending more and more time working away on it I've been just crunching so hard when I had to finish a video. I've been really disregarding everything else just so the channel could grow. It has been by far my, the biggest priority like for me ever. And just still, still to see people think that it's the whole incel thing of them, of me not actually wanting to put in the effort almost feels insulting to the amount of effort I did put in. And another reason why that comment really intrigued me is because of my own position in the whole uh, romantic world. And the comment definitely made me question my own IRL situation because I've also been someone who in the 18 years on this planet has never been in a relationship. So that definitely also made me want to compare my situation on YouTube to my situation in a train wreck of my, of my love life. And so I kind of comforted myself in realizing that my love life is not really in the same position as my YouTube channel, nor as the radical insults you so often see online. Because unlike my channel, where I constantly try to improve stuff, and but I just don't know what exactly is wrong, and no one else seems to also know what's wrong with the channel that's preventing from growing, I know why I've never had a girlfriend. Because I'm just lonely, and I barely talk to people, and I barely even friends with any girls. Even if I just message a girl on Snapchat, I go into almost this anxious thermal shock. And I just don't really know how to even talk to people in real life. So that's all been, so I like know what is exactly wrong. What is, and is that, comf and it's almost comforting that there is this difference because if because if I had the same problems both in my love life and also with my channel, then that could definitely just say that there's probably something wrong with me, and that is kind of comforting that they aren't really the same situation. But coming back to Big Joe's video, another thing I wanted to comment on is one of the most to many people one of the most memorable parts of it, and that is the whole lemon tree part in the end. When somebody asks him if he was underfeeding it or whatever. He says, no, I feed it all the time, the right amount, too. So there's something that's funny and also really poetic about this post, right? And if you have watched my lemon tree reveal video, you probably know that it actually turned out to be a uh, mislabeled mandarin tree. And as many people correctly pointed out in the video, you know, the farmer or whoever he's taking care of the lemon tree isn't the only person responsible for its health and well-being. There are so many other factors at play, like bad weather, diseases, whatever, or just the tree being at its end of its life. The farmer isn't always at fault, and it's just really confusing why it's something that Big Joe hasn't really talked about in a video. Lemon trees are not governed by mysterious forces. I'm sure that growing them is complicated, but given the right climate, the only difference between a healthy lemon tree and an unhealthy one is that a person takes good care of it. Even though he does then go to, you know, talk about how the YouTube algorithm is this like weird metaphysical thing at the, like at the end of the video. So it's kind of weird that he didn't really talk about that. Plus, I think it's a perfect example of another thing people get wrong about what I'm trying to achieve when I like ask for help. Because when he shows my response saying that, no, I do like feed a, a water, the tree or whatever the reply was to this question on the thread, it, it's being played up as it's this gotcha moment almost, as if it's just this perfect analogy for what is going on with YouTube. And it's all, and how it just shows that I'm just like, an eager to listen almost, while in reality, it was literally me answering a question. Because when you boil it down, 
whether it's with the lemon tree of my channel, what's basically going on here is just a form of troubleshooting, I guess you could call it, where you just go through some steps, see what works, see what doesn't. The me saying that the tree is already being fed enough and watered enough is not some defense. It's not me saying I'm perfect and can't do anything wrong. It's me answering that troubleshooting question with the intent of us then being able to go to another question. So, do you water and feed the tree enough? Yes, I do. Okay, so it can't be that. What else could it be? Have you tried this and this? Yes, I did. Okay, so if that's, if that's not it, maybe this is the point. Okay, haven't tried that. Maybe that will fix the situation. That is, in essence, what's happening here. Just pure, just troubleshooting. It's just a form of troubleshooting. And the same thing is going on with my channel. And my channel is a very interesting example of that because of the amount of things that I have already tried and have or have already or have or things that have already been accounted for because of my channel's age and the amount of commitment I have for it. Like I said before, it's like completely fine that people don't know the whole history of my channel and all the context in and out. I never expect them to know that. So that's why we go through like these troubleshooting steps. If someone says, hey, do you do this with your tags or do you focus on SEO? Then I could go, yes, I already do that. Is there something I do wrong that makes you question it? Or can we just move on to another troubleshooting step? That's, al that's something I always said. I never try to belittle people for not giving good advice, but instead I try to provide more context and also continue through those troubleshooting steps so we can both work together to find some better compromise and conclusion to what is going on. And I'm not saying everyone does that. There have been many examples of people just being normal about it and going from, okay, if that and that doesn't work, have I tried this and this? Understanding what's going on here. Understanding that their solutions may not be the right ones straight away. And people that haven't been, you know, slipping into that mindset and that cycle that that comment I've shown earlier talked about but also i'm not sure if it's just my luck or whatever but i also seem to get a lot of people just offering advice that is just factually not good and in that case you're in a very weird scenario because well i don't know if it just if because i have such a large sample size of advice seeing how many people i ask or if i'm just unlucky but when you're in that scenario it's kind of hard because if you don't listen to them or if you just say that you don't think that's going to work then they may end up slipping into that cycle from that comment. Like recently, I had a person who, who claims that my channel isn't growing because of my hair. My channel isn't growing because I have long hair and I look like a girl. Like completely ludicrous, right? So, but the more events like that happen, the more people can also get together and say, hey, that guy isn't listening to our advice, so let's just be completely annoying to him. And the cycle just continues. And then seeing how many more people actually defend the action of these people who say things like this, is just making it even more weird, confusing, disgusting, and concerning. But despite that, I'm still hopeful. My channel definitely has been growing, and I'm just so excited for what the future can hold. Even if this whole Big Joel video wasn't the big start, the, the big thing my channel needed, Maybe something else will be. Maybe this very video will be. Maybe some someone else's video about me would, if any more get made, which I which <laughs> which is very likely. And despite it not really feeling like it will be my own achievement, if my channel starts growing because of someone else's video on me, I don't really feel like I would mind at this point because I'm just so desperate. I'm just so tired of all these people shunning me, arguing with me, making me feel like I'm not just not welcome in the whole YouTube community completely disregarding everything I say, treating me like a lunatic, and that I'm just so desperate for things to finally change that I would happily take anything that would make my channel grow, whether it's big or small, anything would just be, even if it's like a hundred subscribers more in just like a month or something, that would in itself still make me feel like, it would still make me feel less just sad about this whole thing because it has generally been really dragging me down in the past few months. And so my channel growing just starts to feel more like the solution to all my problems. But I guess until that day, I could still just think of the what ifs of the last year. 
what if there was some way I could further capitalize on the, the video Big Joe made? What if in a parallel universe, all the subscribers that came to my channel were like 100% active, watched every single one of my videos? Or what if it didn't happen? What if Big Joe didn't make the video? What would change then? I don't know, but I've, it's been a crazy year. It's been a difficult year, but it's also been a year of realizations for me and a year of at least more progress towards a, go a goal of a properly growing channel than I have seen ever since I started this channel back in August of 2013. And I guess in this current situation, where nothing seems to help my channel, that's really the most I could ask for. And I'll be still eternally grateful for the, for the video. And whatever happens next, I'm just happy that at least for a while I felt like I made it. So I guess as usual, all the important links down in the video script below. Uh, Patreon if you want to have support on the channel monetarily, my Discord if you want to know, talk to me or I'm about this further, so, uh, link to social media, over on the systems, all the rest. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this rather long video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, goodbye, and I guess here's to another crazy year. Why am I crying because of this? I never thought I would actually cry making a video. Maybe we all have a lemon tree growing in our backyard, and sometimes it blooms and sometimes it doesn't, and nobody knows why. And maybe anyone telling you otherwise is trying to sell something to you or to themselves.